tired of playing the same boring pentatonic box whenever you're playing in a major key. If you go to search that out, you're not going to find a lot of information. It's just going to show you how to play it in the one position, and after a while it gets pretty boring. But there is a better way, I promise you, and what I'm going to do is show you how to do that today by using a really cool sliding scale that will go up and down the fretboard. It's going to connect the dots for you. It's going to give you a really good way to go up and down this, the fretboard. We're going to make some cool solos and cool riffs out of it. I promise you guys you're going to get a lot of mileage out of this. This is great for beginners and intermediate players alike. Let's get started and check out the fretboard. Here we go. Okay, so here's how we play this really cool uh, major pentatonic pattern. Remember, pentatonic is just five notes. So we're going to play it down from the fifth fret all the way down to the twelfth fret here with a sliding scale going this way. So our first note is going to be A, and then B. Then we're going to slide into the next one, C sharp. So, and then the next one's going to be E, this is on the 5th uh, string, and then F sharp. So, it's nice and easy, you can put vibrato on any of those. You can pull this down a half tone, or you can do all the full tone all the way to C sharp. And then resolve back to the A. So that's a really cool little thing you can do. Okay, so now I'm gonna play just a little quick solo with just this first position that we just learned. Super easy. We're gonna go over that, show you a couple of bends and different things that we can use. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so in the second position here, we've got the same notes that repeat, which is really cool. Uh, but it gets really interesting at this point because what we've got here is from the E, F sharp, we go here to an A, and then a B. Same notes that were up here. But now we have this cool little four note box that we can play. You can do some double stops. All sorts of cool things that uh, sound pretty cool. So then the second part of that position here is then we're going to slide so we got A, B, slide up to the C sharp and then your E and F sharp. So all together. Then you can do the, the bend here too or half tone. And then you can get this really cool little riff that uh, little repeating pattern you guys have probably heard many times. Okay, so now we're going to do the second position. We'll do the same little bit of solo here so you guys can see what that sounds like over just this middle position. So the final position is all the way up here. We're going to be starting on the 10th fret, and this is an A note. So we're going to do A, B again, slide to C sharp, come back to E, and F sharp. And then I like to go all the way here to resolve it back to the A note here. This is going to be uh, right here. This would be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so 17. So that's just something cool to play. So uh, third position again. You can bend up. You can slide into it. You can bend up on this one. Okay, so let's do a solo, small solo here with the... Uh, third position and that's going to be just right here like we showed you. All right, last position.
So the beauty of all these positions is that we string them all together. So we can start low, go to the middle, and go up high. We can do a couple notes up high and then go back to the middle. It's just really cool because you can really move up the fretboard. Really handy to do. I promise you guys, if you learn this, it's going to be great. On all of those different positions we've got, uh, we can play starting here on the fifth fret, A note, and then come all the way down here. We end up on the F sharp here on the uh, 14th fret. So that's really cool that you can do that. So um, some examples, you can go all the way up the whole gamut. You guys will get faster with that. In time, the speed will get better and quicker. Uh, you can do hammer-ons on a lot of these, like I said. You can do the uh, double stops. Just all sorts of cool positions. So play with that. You guys will get better at it in no time, and you guys will um, be able to incorporate that in all your playing instead of playing just a boring old major pentatonic every time. Okay, so now that we've learned all those three positions, we're gonna play um, a solo incorporating everything. And this, uh, this track is super easy. It's just two, no or two chords. We're just doing A and then D. That's it, that's the whole thing. Real easy, so check this out. Here we go. So you can take that to any key. You could also play it in G. Let's say you're up here on the third fret, G note. And have it in here on the E note uh, if you're in the key of G. So uh, just the same thing. So you'd have G, A, B, D, and then E. And then you repeat that. Okay, check that out, have fun with it. All right, I hope you guys learned a lot out of this lesson. Using this pentatonic sliding scale is really amazing. I promise you guys you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of it. Just keep learning it, keep practicing it. Remember the easy notes, we've just got the A, the B, the C sharp, the E, and the F sharp, just all over the fretboard as we go. Check out some other videos I've done right here on uh, blues and on different improv improvisation skills and different things. Take care, we'll see you guys next time.